Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. Today's beer is from Kitty Vitty in Newfoundland, St. John's, Newfoundland, to be exact. This is Squeeze Box New England Pale Ale. Well, New England India Pale Ale. Ah, uh, what do we got going on with Squeeze Box? What do we have for ABV? We have 6.1%. 6.1. Okay. Uh, it does have a spiel like every other Kitty Vitty beer does, but that spiel is in writing that I'm not, you know, like, I can't. You guys might be able to make that out. My eyes, my eyes can't do it. So we're just going to drink Squeeze Box. Oh my god, my hip just came out of joint. No, it didn't, but it did do this. It went... <laughs> I'm getting old. I'm falling apart. All the sports I did, all the all the strength things I did, all the working out I did. It's my body is not holding out the way it should have. And then I work a job where I'm working hard all the time and my body just it can't keep up anymore. Okay. So it is hazy crazy. It's a nice like orangish color. Off white head, bright white. One second. Sorry guys, my youngest daughter was trying to give me Play-Doh ice cream. So you know you have to you have to pause the video and go and eat some Play-Doh ice cream before you come back. So all the head is faded since I was playing. Um, but yeah, it's a nice like orangey color. Out of the glass. You get like, you get orange, orange, pineapple, and uh, grapefruit out of the glass, out of the can. Uh, the can pretty much smells the same, except it has a, uh, it has that, oh, what's the best way to describe it? It has that bitterness to it. It has that uh, pithiness to it. Slanche, let's try it. Medium bodied, obviously easy drinking. Very, very dangerous beer because it's 6.1% alcohol. And you would not know it's 6.1% alcohol. All that being said, orange, pineapple, grapefruit, grapefruit peel, orange peel, a little bit of uh, caffeine pill bitterness on the back end. It's not the greatest New England IPA I've ever had. But it's not the worst, and it is, if if you're getting into craft beer and you're starting to get into IPAs and all that type of stuff, it isn't bitter enough to push you away. Uh, that could be, that's not, that's not an intro level, it's not intro level IPA, but it's probably intermediate level IPA, where the majority of craft beer drinkers could either appreciate it or really, really like it. That being said, I appreciate it. It's not a bad beer. Would I buy it again? Probably not, but do I have a problem with it? No, it was a solid damn beer. Wasn't as juicy as you would expect from a New England IPA. Was about as bitter as a regular IPA. And just, it, it was... It was fairly approachable. Out of 10 on that, I can't give it under a 675. It's a solid beer. I would drink it no problem. I just don't think I would pay hard-earned money for it. I would. Uh, I have no problem with Kitty Vitty beers. I would. There's other beers from them I haven't had. I would buy one of those. Just if somebody else brought a six-pack of that over, no problem drinking it. Just not something I would pay my, my own money on. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.